Hey guys, Aaron Cybertron Zeng here, and today I'm back with another episode of Road to Ranked, where I climb the online VGC 18 ladder and provide live commentary as I go. We are just continuing our time with the Mega Blastoise team, and I uploaded this video, I'm pre-recording it, but I uploaded it on a pretty exciting day. This is uh, the start of the NA International Championships, so if you want to go tune into that, that the stream will that for that will be starting right after this video is uploaded. So uh, if you're watching this later throughout the day, chances are the stream is still going on because it will go on for the entire day, but I'll actually be commentating that event, so hopefully some of you guys come in and tune in. Uh, and that's going to be going on all weekend. So. We're going to find our first opponent of the day, Max running a team of Heatran, Venusaur, Zapdos, Landris, Cresselia, and Tapu Fini. Of course, I'm still using the Drifblum team with Mega Blastoise. Sorry if it's a little bit noisy outside, I think they're taking out the garbage right now. Um, so yeah, this kind of team is really interesting, it's got a bunch of things I really don't like to see, specifically the Venusaur and the Tapu Fini. That combination is really ugly for me. So, I gotta think about how I want to approach this. I might actually bring a Moongus, just because Sludge Bomb actually does a sizable amount of damage, and I can still spore Zapdos, Landorus, and Cresselia. I think I'm still gonna stick to my conventional Drift Bomb Lele lead, though. I want to bring Blastoise so badly. I guess I kind of have to still for the Heatran. Um, but I did learn in the, the other episode, I think it was like two episodes ago, where that like, Sludge Bomb, or Shadow Ball plus Super Power is able to knock out Heatran. I can bring those two. I feel like I kind of need Tapu Bulu. Do I just bring Blastoise still? Ugh, my Mega Venusaur matchup is really sketch though. Um. All right, I'll still bring Blastoise. We'll see how this goes. Basically, the reason why this matchup is tricky is because I only have one really good answer. Um against Venusaur, which is Tapu Lele, and then I only have one really good answer against Tapu Fini, which is Tapu Bulu. So I'm going to have to play around this very, very carefully, um, and don't think it favors me too much. But we'll see how it goes. As always, if you guys enjoy Road to Rank, please share support by leaving a like in the video, I'd really appreciate it, and I really hope you guys come out and tune into the stream. Uh, Heatran Venusaur, I think this is actually a really ideal lead here. Um, it actually reminds me of my VGC 2015 team that I used for a while. I had a Mega Venusaur team with Venusaur, Heatran, Terrakion, Bisharp, uh, and some other stuff. That was a really fun team. So, nothing on my opponent's team can really switch into a Psychic Attack too well other than Cresselia. Uh, Heatran really doesn't threaten me at all right now. But, I think it's highly unlikely that the Venusaur kind of just stays in and allows me to go for a Psychic Attack. Um, if I'm my opponent, I'm protecting here or switching into Feeny slash Cresselia. So I could aggressively predict that and go for a Rain Dance um, to reduce the damage output of Heat Wave. Um, or I could just Shadow Ball and Psychic the Venusaur. The only downside is if my opponent protects. I'm going to go for the Rain Dance and Psychic play, I think. And if for some reason it stays in, then that's just amazing for me. He does stay in. Interesting. So, yeah, I wanted a Rain Dance Psychic because this covers the option of him protecting and staying in, which looks like it is what is going to happen. Unless Venusaur doesn't protect at all. But, yeah, it is going to protect. That's fine by me, though, because Heatran shouldn't do too much unless it does have Flash Cannon, which I'm slightly scared about. But at least now, uh, Heatran's damage output really is going to be reduced. Um, and I'm going to be able to probably force Venusaur out this next turn, and I can maybe go into my Blastoise. Like, he does have Flash Cannon, though, which is not what I wanted to see. And it gets the one-shot. Was that a crit, or is that Specs? That's Specs Heatran with Flash Cannon. Oh. Don't think I've seen one of those in a long time. Yep, that's really bad. I guess I should have protected Lele. Uh, maybe, yeah, if I protected Lele, switched into Blastoise? Eh, that's even then. Go for the Shadow Ball, Mega Evolution, Water Spout. <clears throat> Honestly, I think I've already lost this, mainly because how much of how much I needed Lele to beat the Venusaur. But we'll see if I can pull something off. Yep, that uh, was pretty much the worst case turn one. Heatran's going to switch out probably into Feeny. Uh, no Feeny coming in, so maybe my opponent doesn't have Feeny. A Giga Drain won't knock me out, but... Yeah, the reason why I wanted to just attack there with Blastoise is because I need to get some damage on the board. 
But I just don't think I can beat Venusaur because I've got Bulu and Blastoise. And I needed to bring Bulu for the Tapu Fini. Special defense drop here would be huge. And I do get it. Okay, maybe I can still pull something off then. Gonna get a full powered water spout in the rain. And look how much damage that does. Wow. Okay, okay. He is just gonna go for a Giga. Doesn't knock me out though. Okay, um, the special defense drop did give me a pretty big advantage. So maybe I can still pull this off now. I did, yeah, I don't know. That does help me out a lot. Um, I don't have Tailwind set up right now, though, so I'm probably going to want to go for that. My hair is also a mess because I just woke up, so apologies. But you would think if my opponent had Tapu Fini, he would have switched into Fini there. So no Fini is interesting, but it does mean that Hydreigon would have been a better pick. However, I really do think I needed to bring Fini in this game. And it is Cresselia coming out, so okay. Uh, now the question is, does my opponent go for, like, a Trick Room play? Could also just have Psychic and Psychic Blastoise. I don't even know if Shadow Ball Water Pulse is enough to knock out Cress, honestly. Mm. The thing is, Drifloom actually wins against Heatran. Yeah. I want to double up on a Crest here. I just really predict Venusaur to protect. I expect Protect Trick Room. There's a Protect. Okay. A special Defense Drop would probably mean I knock out Crest, but... Uh, yeah, this is the best move I could make. I don't think I can still even knock out Crest here. Mm, yeah. Confusion, maybe? Nope. And it eats the berry. He doesn't Trick Room for some reason, though. Then maybe. Oh, he goes for Icy Wind. Okay. Really interesting. Maybe he doesn't have Trick Room then, which would actually be a really big deal. Because I think two Shadow Balls might knock out Venusaur at this point. So I'm just going to Shadow Ball Protect here. Yeah, I think I can actually still pull this off now. Um, I thought the game honestly was just over after that first turn, but think might be able to do something here yeah especially if two shadow balls uh, does knock out Venusaur okay it looks like it does crash is just opting for another icy win so I'm guessing he doesn't have trick room and I know it's specs heatran in the back so I think this next time I'm just gonna withdraw blast face out into Bulu yeah uh, and shadow ball the Venusaur I'm really surprised my opponent didn't bring Feeny. I feel like if Feeny came out this game, then I would have been in real trouble. But Drifloom should still outspeed everything. Crest is eating up its berry. Uh, Shadow Ball will just knock out Venusaur. Venusaur could go for a Protect and Crest could go for an Icy Win. But then I could just go for a Wood Hammer into Venusaur, which would knock it out, and Tailwind with my Drifloom. So suddenly this game actually looks like it's really doable because this Crest is pretty useless for my opponent right now. Venusaur doesn't protect. Wow, okay. So there's the knockout onto that. Grassy terrain is up now, which means I'm slowly healing back a little bit. And Crest finally does go for Psychic. I feel like my opponent should have just been Psychicking earlier on, honestly. Uh, gets the crit, rain stops, but I think that's actually enough for me to win the game now. I'm going to go for a Tailwind here with Drifblum. Uh, do I even want a Tailwind? Topple Bulu is the fastest thing on the field. Heatran has to lock itself into attack. You would think it's going to be Heat Wave. Um, yeah, I'm going to Tailwind here. I really want to, like, superpower Shadow Ball the Heatran, though, but... No, I think I'm going to go for the Wood Hammer instead. If that knocks out Crest, then I think I'm good. I'm just worried about Crest hanging out with a little bit of HP. Crest goes for a Helping Hand. Oh, this is going to be scary. Let's see. Oh, and it hangs out with literally like 1 HP. But he locks himself in a Flash Cannon. Interesting. Unless it's not Specs Heatran, and Heatran just does that much. Because if it were Specs, why would you be helping hand? 
Maybe I just underestimated how much Flash Cannon does. Either way, I get my Tailwind up now, which is good. I'll bring able to bring out Blastoise. Uh, so what do I want to do here? I want to protect with Blastoise for sure. I'm still worried that it potentially has Trick Room. Protect Blastoise, Shadow Ball Crest, I think. It's just this helping hand Flash Cannon knock out Drift Bloom. What if I just Water Pulse T-Tran? And Shadow Ball Crest. I think that covers my options too, because then I think Drift Bloom would be able to get two Shadow Balls to knock out Heatran. Uh, but it is healing from Grassy Terrain. I think I'm still going to go for it. Especially if my opponent... Uh, okay, so no Protects, no Helping Hands either. Yeah, I just felt like I needed to target Crest there because of the chance it could have Trick Room. Even though my opponent wasn't going for it. Alright, let's see how much Water Pulse does. Okay, that should be good enough. And I get the confusion. Um, but that should be enough to win the game. Okay, he wasn't Specs Heatran. I guess I Flash Cannon just... Uh, I really wasn't expecting to get the one-shot there against Tapu Lele. I want to do that damage calc then. Uh, I thought Lele should be able to survive that, but I guess this Heatran isn't bulky and maybe it's just like max special attack, max speed. Either way, this does not feel like a game I should have won. I should have... I don't know, that turn one play I should have done uh, a little bit better, I think, but I'll take that. Yeah, that was definitely a tough game, but I was able to come back. I mean, the special defense drop helped a lot, honestly, because it, the Mega Venusaur just took that much more damage. Uh, getting to knock out Zapdos for free was really good, and then uh, the turn let Venusaur protected, getting the double up onto Crest was pretty good as well. Still, I don't like how I played that game very much, um, but I am going to do the damage calc right now. I don't, I don't calc during games because... I think it's better to just treat games like you're playing in a tournament where you don't have access to it. Um, and if you guys have watched me, you should, yeah, that's what I've done for a while. But I do think it's important to do it afterwards so you learn specific calcs. So pull up my phone. Almost in the 1700s now, so we'll see if we can reach there in the next episode or two. But yeah, that was really crazy. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to think if there's any way I could have lost that game because in the end he wasn't spexed. Um, yeah, I think uh, you would have to knock out my Heatran. Actually, yeah, I don't think Heatran can even knock out Blastoise uh, with Flash Cannon, Heat Wave, or Earth Power. Or maybe Earth Power was going to be able to do enough. 16-19 uh, rated opponent for our next game. I'm still trying to do this calc as quickly as possible. Keep in mind, my Lele does have no bulk, so that could explain some. Yeah, if you're max special attack Heatran with Flash Cannon, you have a 5H chance of 1-hit KOing, which I honestly did not know at all, so that's really interesting. But most Heatrans aren't like modest max special attack, which is why I was so surprised by that. So, good to know that. Once again, we've got a Tapu Fini on my opponent's team, so we have faced so many Tapu Finis these last couple of days. Managed to win against most of them, but doesn't make it any easier. I want to bring Hydreigon, but all these Finis are just making my life a lot more difficult. So, alas, I think I'm still going to just go with my typical Drifflele, Blastoise, Bulu combo. Mm, I was actually thinking really hard for a moment of leading Bulu instead. Because I got so much offense against most things that my opponent has. But the thing is, like, if I lead, if I don't lead Drifflele, it's just really hard to set up Tailwind uh, and go from there. Yeah, um, because then it would mean, like, switching in Drifflem and switching in Tapu Lele individually. And that's always kind of tricky. I'm not the biggest fan of that. Otherwise, yeah, there's so many matches I want to bring Amoongus to, but like we've just faced against a lot of standard teams with Kartana or Fini. Combination of those is just really ugly for Amoongus to begin with. And my opponent has a Charizard and a Heatran and a Crest, which could a lot of them are carrying slightly easy moves. So it's not been pretty in team preview for poor Hydreigon or Amoongus these days. But yeah, I definitely was not expecting to win that last game, but that's why you never give up. Even like Often, even if you have a bad turn one, like that was a really bad turn where I was like, oh, if my opponent just plays correctly, I feel like I actually just lose. But fortunately enough, I um, was able to claw my way back into it. But once again, yeah, I did get a little bit of luck with the special defense drop. It's going to be Charizard and Cortana coming up for my opponent. Okay. Um, what do I want to do here? I'm looking at my opponent's team. Multiple Z-Move users. Charizard could have Tailwind. I want to Will-O-Wisp the Kartana and just Psychic Z the Charizard. I 
I did, actually, I'd, I'd rather just double up onto Charizard to knock it out. Or sorry, Cortana. Like, will and Psychic Z the Cortana. It's by far the bigger threat to me. Or I could just tail and protect. Um, I'll go for the tail and protect play. Because if Charizard doesn't have Tailwind, actually one of these two definitely has Tailwind. Um, hmm. But it's like if I miss Will O Wisp and the Kartana Z moves Tapu Lele, that just is so bad for me. It also could be Scarf Kartana with Smart Strike. It randomly ran into one of those the other day and it totally caught me off guard. Okay, so I get my Tailwind up. Let's see. One of these two guys is going to Tailwind, I think. It's just going to Leaf Blade Lele and probably Tailwind. Okay. Uh, the fact it Leaf Bladed, though, is good. Yeah, I'm going to uh, set up a Rain Dance here. Actually, I think I still want to Will Wisp. And Psychic Z. Because if I knock out Kartana, that paves the way for Blastoise. Charizard switches out, which is great, too. Uh, probably an Affini. That's a good switch. Oh, that's a really good switch. Um, because I can't Will-O-Wisp the Kurtana. The question is, is it able to Leaf Blade knock me out? Or he could just be conserving his Z-move. Okay, no, he wasn't. This is knock me out. Okay, nice. I do hang on. That's a really big uh, survival. If I, if I uh, fainted there, that, that would have been really ugly, I think. But because I survive, I'll do a lot of damage to this... Uh, Cartana, and then I can just Shadow Ball it next turn. Although, it's probably Assault Vest given that it didn't Z move and didn't detect either turn. Yeah, so turn one I could have attacked with Lele, but I played a little bit safer because this is best of one. Don't really know what my opponent's running. Is that Sashed? Ah, yeah, it is Sashed. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to go for the Shadow Ball. And I think I'll just Moonblast the Feeny here. I kind of want to taunt it, though, to prevent it from Calm Minding. I actually like Taunt better. Calm Mind Feeny just really screws with me. And I do have Bulu to deal with it. Ideally, Kartana detects here. Tapu Feeny tries to Calm Mind. Because then I waste another turn of my opponent's Tailwind. My card switches up. That's fine. It's a free Shadow Ball into Heatran. Good to confirm that that's my opponent's last one, too. Because you can see that Blastoise puts in a lot of work right now. Okay, get the Shadow Ball off, get the Taunt off. What does Feeny go for? Just Muddy Waters, okay. Hmm. That does nothing to Drift at all. I'd like to bring out Bulu right now. And Super Power Heatran Shadow Ball Feeny. Because, yeah, you know Feeny's going to want to switch out here. I uh, could also just bring out Blastoise. Because Feeny can't calm mine in front of me right now. So I could just Rain Dance and go for some shenanigans there. I think I'm going to bring out Bulu, though. I could also Stone Edge if I predict the Feeny to switch out into Charizard. But yeah, I like the Rain Dance superpower play. I think it's highly likely I just get the knockout onto Heatran. So Rain Dance, superpower. Knocking out Heatran would pave the way a little bit for my Bulu, because then I can Stone Edge the Charizard potentially. Feeny also could stay in, but I'd be okay with that. Yeah, maybe I should have just Stone Edge the Feeny, but if I missed, that'd be really bad. Because um, the Charizard switching was rather obvious. But I still get a free Shadow Ball off against it. Ah, Heatran does protect, though, which is a good play. Uh, I'll still get Rain up, though, which is good um, this next turn. Or, sorry, I should have Shadow Ball this turn and Rain Dance next turn because I wasn't going to be going for a... Uh... Wasn't going to be going for... What am I trying to say? Yeah, because, like, uh, Super Power would knock out Heatran in that range anyway. Uh, so both Tailwind's Peter up, but that's fine. I think I'm going to take this time to Shadow Ball the Heatran. Actually, I should still Tailwind here. Mm, go for my own Tailwind, and I expect... 
Now I can finally bring in Blastoise, yeah. Because I expect Heatran to want to switch out into Feeny. And then I can finally start hammering down Water Spouts. Oh, he stayed in. Wow. Okay. That's interesting. Uh, I'm really worried he has like a Z move. And he goes for the Grass Z move. Okay, no, he did a Flash Cannon though. All these Heatran's running Flash Cannon nowadays, dang. That actually does way more than I would have liked. And it's Life Orb Heatran, that explains some. But with Rain Dish, which actually rarely comes into play, I'm actually able to take advantage of that and heal back a bunch, which is nice. Okay, cool. I'm gonna Mega Evolve. Um, Charizard's definitely the one that's more likely to switch out. I'm just gonna Water Spout Shadow Ball here. This is still going to be a tough game to maneuver through, but I actually like my positioning a decent amount right now because I have a lot more damage output, uh, especially with the rain. There's a switch out. Probably Feeny coming in. Yep. Cortana's basically useless on my opponent's end because that's going to fan just to a Shadow Ball whenever it comes in. Uh, let's see if Heatran stays in. It might just be a stay-in protect play, but if so, then I get free damage against the Feeny with Shadow Ball Water Spout. Special Defense Drop would be really, really nice as always. Yep, there's the Protect. Not too much of a surprise there. That's fine. The question is, this next turn, do I want to predict Charizard to come in and go for a, another Rain Dance? Uh, Shadow Ball does actually do a decent amount. I wonder if two Shadow Ball and Water Spots is enough to knock out Feeny without proccing its Berry. It'll be close. That also could just be Z-Move Feeny. Yeah, it really could be. I really want to just Shadow Ball and Spout here again. Mm, I think it might be better to protect Blastoise. I could also just go for a Rain Dance. I guess if it's Z Feeny, it would be Water Z anyway. Yeah, I really expect Charizard to switch back in, so I'm going to Water Spout and Rain Dance Water Spout. Ah, he doesn't switch out. Oh, that Feeny's fast, too. Is that Scarf Feeny? No. Or it could be, I guess, still, and I could just still be faster than Heatran. Hmm. Okay, but he doesn't knock me out. Yeah, but he crits Drift Blum, no! Oh, that's so bad. Without that crit, I think I still would have been fine. Oh, that's so unfortunate. And the special attack dropped onto the Blastoise. But at least I know Blastoise is faster than the... The Heatran. I just have to rely on hitting Stone Edges now, I think. So I'm going to Stone Edge and Water Pulse here. That's so unfortunate. No. <laughs> Neither Pokemon switch out. Can Stone Edge knock out Feeny? Okay, if I hit this against Heatran... Or actually, I should just hit it. I do get two knockouts here. Oh, this is so close. Rain stops. I'm going to heal back a little bit. It's going to be Kartana. Does this Kartana have a Smart Strike? It's got Sash, so you would think so. But it didn't Smart Strike against... Um, what, it didn't Smart Strike against me, against Tapu Lele. So I'm guessing it doesn't have it then. Smart Strike, Sacred Sword, Knock Off, Protect maybe. But then if it, if it has Knock Off, it can just Knock Off my item. So I need to make a really big call right now. Who's protecting here? If I get a knockout with Gulu here, I think I win the game. Well, I'd, I'd still have to hit two stone edges to win, but... Uh, yeah, it sucks losing Drifloom. Drifloom is so good in this matchup. Okay, I think Tailwind is expired on both ends. So, I basically need to make the call here. You know, he might not know I'm Scarfed either. He's got to be scared of it, though. I really want to target Kartana, but... 
I think I'm gonna go for the Charizard target. Let's see, let's see. Ah, he protects. Yeah, I don't know. It was like such an obvious protect that I felt like my opponent could have just capitalized off not protecting. Both Pokemon did end up having Tailwind. Okay. Yeah, so if I target Cartana there, I I mean he could still miss a Heat Wave, I guess. Yeah, like Drifflum just being able to rain dance everything is too good. Um he'd have yeah, if he misses a if I Stone Edge Cartana there, then I win, but I'd once again have to hit Stone Edge against Cartana and Charizard. But it, yeah, like the reason why I did target Charizard was because Cartana felt like such an obvious target, because here it's like, oh obviously Charizard's gonna protect against the Stone Edge, but I guess I should have just gone for it. Um yeah, part of it was, like, I was thinking Cartana didn't have Tailwind either, so it was like, oh, it's fine, because, like, even if he doesn't target me, he'll maybe knock out Blastoise, and I can still 2v1 with Bulu. But, yeah. I was still in a position to win this. I could have made some better uh, choices. He does hit Heat Wave, so that's probably it. I, I heard the, uh, like, this Pokemon is hanging on music. I thought Bulu hung on for a second, and I was like, oh, no way. I could maybe still confuse Charizard. If I got that with Water Pulse, that's my win con. Can we get it? No. Okay. Well, good game to my opponent then. Um, I was pretty sad about this one because I do feel like I was in a pretty good position to win, but I wasn't expecting Fini to be faster than the Blastoise. Uh, and the special attack drop plus the crit in the same turn really hurt me. He has Air Slash, so Tailwind, Heat Wave, Air Slash, Protect. Uh, he could still miss Air Slash or Heat Wave. Mmm, yeah. <laughs> I could have also super powered. I could have just Stone Edge Charizard, like the turn I expected it to come in. So yeah, there were a bunch of plays I think I could have done better this game. But if I just made the call to Stone Edge the Cartana, that also would have won me the game. I just thought like, yeah, the Charizard Protect was so obvious that I thought my opponent might gamble and not go for it. But I guess he really had to because his Cartana wasn't beating my Tapu Bulu. So I was scared of knockoff, but I should have considered that it was Leaf Blade, Sacred Sword, Tailwind, and Protect. You know, Tailwind makes more sense than knockoff. I was worried about Charizard protecting and knocking off the Cartana, but because he didn't have knockoff, yeah, his win con really was to just, you know, uh, protect Charizard and go for Tailwind. But the thing is, obviously, it's like, oh, if Cartana just Tailwinds and Charizard heat waves, then I also lose the game if I target the Cartana. So kind of one of those situations with some mind games there, ultimately. Um, my opponent did make the call. It would have been pretty sick to see Stone Edge Bulu make the comeback, but at least I was in a position where I could have potentially pulled it off. Uh, either way, yeah, that game was kind of frustrating because I do feel like I uh, had a pretty decent matchup. Um, the crit onto Drifloom really sucks because without that crit, uh, I probably can protect my Blastoise, Shadow Ball, the... I don't think Flash Cannon even two-shots me without the crit um, with the special defense increase. Maybe it does. Actually, it probably does. So... But then I could have Shadow Balled Feeny. It looked like Feeny was really fast. Um, I'm wondering if it was Scarf Feeny or not, because I still never found out the item. But yeah, I could have Shadow Balled the Feeny, protected Blastoise, and then the next turn gone for another Shadow Ball Water Pulse. Um, obviously, that turn I did Rain Dance, expecting the Charizard to come out, so I could have played better that turn too. Um, I was thinking maybe Feeny switches out into Charizard. So, a bunch of things caught me off guard there. Ultimately, I think um, I could have played a little bit better. RNG was a little bit unfortunate, but. I was also in a position to win and just didn't make the right calls there in the end, so I can't really complain too much. But yeah, pretty fun episode for you guys. Um, I think I'm still learning a lot as I play along with this team, and it's been really enjoyable, so hopefully you guys have enjoyed watching it. Anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. Go check out the NA International stream, which is going on right now. Hopefully I'm on commentary, but if you want updates of that tournament, just follow me on Twitter at CybertronVGC. I'll be tweeting about it all weekend, and come in and tune in for some games. Um, yeah. I'm going to upload this video right before the stream starts for the day, but if you're watching this video like any time within the next 12 hours that it's been uploaded, chances are the stream's still going on. If you missed it today, you can go check out all the VODs anyway, and then it'll be streaming on Saturday and Sunday as well. So yeah, thanks for watching. As always, as always if you enjoyed, please show your support by leaving a like, and I'll catch you guys next time. Alright, peace.